welcome to Austria Vienna. I'm just waiting for my cousin. He should be coming in any minute at the airport with his girlfriend to come and pick me up and uh, let the new adventure begin. Later. Hello guys, I'm actually heading to Schönbrunn Castle. I've entered the gardens from the sideways. This is the castle over there, so this is where I'm heading. It's day three from my trip to Austria, Vienna. I spent some time with my cousin and Willi girlfriend in their place, walked around the area, had lots of food, drinks, catch up. We haven't seen each other for years. But now I'm back on the road exploring and finding new places like this beauty over here. And this is just the beginning. cut the lawn they have a few of them maybe about 10 or 20 machines like this they just put them around the, the park and they cut the, cut the grass pretty pretty smart there you go you got the automatic wall mower and uh, you can tell they did a pretty good job I'm just heading down now to the Schoenbrunn. I had a few technical issues with <laughs> memory storage, of course. And uh, I was just sitting up there on one of the benches, just enjoying the view and trying to sort out, empty some space in my phone. But it should be good now. We're back on the move. And uh, let's head down there. Found that there is a maze. We'll try to get to the maze although I've heard it might be closed for visitors because of uh, all the COVID-19 restrictions but we'll give it a try if not there's plenty more to see there is a fountain and a monument just uh, down there so let's just go down These guys behind me is a large opulent fountain built in the 1776 and is built with marble sculptures surrounded around the Neptune figure. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? And to my left is the zoo. Unfortunately, I won't be going there because I'm not really interested in the zoo at the moment. So I'm just gonna make another stroll around this garden, which is massive as you can see. The size is just impressive. It reminds me of uh, the park, the Green Park, and uh, St. James's Park in London. But I kind of like this one here because it's different. Got all these sculptures to the side, beautiful flowers, and the massive trees or bushes made as a maze. This is 
is a maze over here. I'm just going to go and check the Roman fountain. This is another monument just down the other side of the park. And if I have the time, I'll check the maze as well. Not sure how much it is, but it won't be more than 7 to 10 euros, which is a pretty good price, if you ask me. And uh, the weather is amazing, so why not? Just gonna walk around, explore a little bit, and if I have the time today, because I'm planning to spend the whole day out, and uh, I'll go all the way to the other side to maybe central Vienna. I'm planning on walking, but it depends how tired I am. I'll figure it out. I might take the bus or the train, the tube in the ground because I have a ticket for the whole week. But because I love walking, so we'll see. Standing in front of the obelisk fountain and this thing is massive this was the monument I was telling you just a couple of minutes ago and uh, when I came out from that forest just to this square and when you see this is a view it's amazing look at the size of it the water is coming out from the central point of the obelisk and this is from the this came out from the mask. This fountain was built in 1777. So imagine if they could have built this back in the 17th century. What can we achieve today? This is massive. It's beautiful. Fountains, I love waterfalls, I love anything to do with water. <laughs> oh, you're not a perfect swimmer, but I'm trying my best. But this is just amazing, beautiful design. Bushes because there are some cherries in there. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't risk it, I don't want to do something to my stomach because it's already ruined from all the different food, the junky food, and the alcohol to be honest. So I think I am in the maze sort of place now, not really, but yeah, it's 
really cool really quiet not that many people it's chilled really quiet you can hear the birds chirping and, uh, yeah just came up to another place this building here it's an old style pigeon cage and uh, they got really old ocean breed pigeons as well very rare so there's no access to the public of course I'm sure the caretaker's got the keys for the door but yeah it looks pretty impressive and then uh, look at the system inside for the water The water literally comes out from these small fountains controlled by the caretaker. But yeah, it's just the size is massive. Oh, there's so many pigeons as well. in the backyard of the Schönbrunn castle and these are the gardens so I'm shogging between all the bushes and trees again trying to find something interesting they're really nice places just uh, pass by a bunch of roses and go a fountain over there let's check it out behind me is the Asho castle you can get inside that's gonna be the museum I'm not going inside because the weather is too nice so you got in so I'll just try to enjoy the nature and the beautiful gardens it's a baroque castle so if you guys are familiar with the baroque era you should come visit it pretty large this is the back there this is the castle oh this is connected and it's one place if you like to go to the museum that's the entrance over there there's the cafe just from this side over here and uh, I don't know if you can spot the, the horse carriages can take them for a ride around the castle or maybe around the city I'm not really sure but if that's something that you'd like to experience in Vienna please do and of course another fountain which I really love they're nothing special but I just love them Okay, I'm gonna head out from here I'm trying to find a place to have a beer get some rest because I've done already 15 kilometers today and uh, I'm really thirsty I need a toilet as well maybe a sandwich so this is it 
Schönbrunn Castle.